<laughs> they, uh, how long should we talk about here? Hour, hour and a half? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll try to make this on the short side. Uh, I think everybody here understands that conservatives and conservatism did not lose in, in 2006. It was big government republicanism that, uh, that lost. Uh, and of course, the left would have you believe otherwise, but, uh, but we uh, did not lose in 2006. Uh, the Republicans became that which they beheld. Uh, in the late 80s, early 90s, the Republicans correctly beheld the immorality, the, uh, the corruption, the abuse of power of the Democrats. And by uh, no, uh, 1994, November, the voters said, yeah, we agree with you. The Republic Democrats have been abusive of power. They've been corrupt, uh, et cetera. Uh, so they replaced them with Republicans. And it wasn't very long, within a year or two, and the Republicans became that which they beheld. They became abusive of power. They became uh, corrupt and immoral. And uh, we don't have time to get into this. I think uh, many of you know uh, the work of uh, Frederick Bastide, particularly in the law and legal plunder, and that's what the Republicans began to engage in. It was almost like when they came to uh, power in January of 2001, they said, uh, you know, we've got the House, we've got the Senate, we've got the White House. What strategy can we use to govern? And it was like they came up with one word. And that one word strategy to govern was bribery. <laughs> you, the voters, have votes. We have money. Let's talk. Let's deal. And they just began to bribe the voters. You know, number one, perhaps in my opinion, is prescription drug benefit, seven trillion dollars of debt, as far as anybody can see in the future. Uh, no child left behind. The largest uh, form subsidy in the history of the country. Uh, illegal uh, uh, immigrant uh, amnesty. It goes on and on and on. Florida was a wash in money in 2003, 2004, and uh, so the, uh, uh, they governed that way, and how ironic that it turned to ashes in, in their mouth. Uh, in, uh, in the 1950s, when David and I are in Houston, Harris County, we're hearing the uh, uh, Republicans in the party talk about uh, balanced budget, less spending, lower taxes, abolish this government program, abolish that. Sounds pretty good. Then I heard that in the 60s, and I heard it in the 70s, and I heard it in the 80s, and even in the 90s. But I didn't hear it starting in January 2001. It was like the Republicans uh, uh, in the Congress and the White House said, ah, oh, just kidding. We didn't really mean it. What we meant was we didn't want the Democrats spending the money. But now that we've got total power, and our friend Lord Acton said, you know what happens with total power. And that's what happened with the, uh, the Republicans. Uh, the, uh, the solution going forward, in my opinion, uh, revolves around a number of things. One of them is represented in this room here. Uh, we need a lot of things as conservatives, but number one, above everything else, we need new leadership. We have uh, been poorly led by, uh, as conservatives for far too long. And I think the conservative movement, the conservative cause, is like the uh, uh, biblical Jews who had to wander through the desert for 40 years until that generation of corrupt and immoral leaders had died off, passed away. <laughs> and we're not going to get to the political <laughs> promised land until we get new leaders, quite frankly. There's some of the uh, gray beards and old timers that maybe you might, might want to keep around for historical <laughs> records or something. <laughs> but, uh, but mostly it's going to depend on you, the young people, who have not drunk deeply of the Republican Kool-Aid. Republicans and conservatives have made a lot of mistakes in recent years, but in my opinion, number one, above everything else, is that we became an appendage of the Republican Party. We became an arm of the Republican Party. My wife's a big uh, uh, fan of the uh, TV psychiatrist, Dr. Phil, and one of the things he likes to say to people who are on his national TV show and they have this big dispute or that, Obviously, they've got all kinds of problems, or they wouldn't be on national television. He said, tell me, how's that working for you? Well, not very well, or you wouldn't be on national television. So I say to conservatives, how's it working for you, conservatives, to be an appendage of the Republican Party? Well, I don't think very well. And I think that uh, 